Welcome to A Pearl in Every Cow's Lips here. This series was recorded here in our classroom with actual students. You just get to listen in. We are using curriculum from Christian Light Education, and this is Language Arts 7, Book 1. Okay, Language Arts 7, Lesson 3. Today we're talking about verbs, but I'm going to start with a bit of review from before. Kind of, uh, what kind of adjective, can you give me some, what kind of adjective is this? His coat. I found his coat. His is what kind of an adjective? I found possessive. It's a possessive adjective. Good. I found Yoshua's coat. That would make it possessive as well. His coat. Those are possessive adjectives. Um, what kind of adjective is this? I ate some German cheese. German is what kind of an adjective? It gets capitalized. It's a proper adjective. Excellent. So German is a proper adjective. And today we're going to go talk about verbs. Finally, we're going to get into the part of language that gives language its life, gives our sentences something to do, puts action into things. Verbs. Verbs are one of the eight parts of speech, nouns, verbs. Words that show action or being. Verbs that show action can show action in two ways. They can show physical action, either I'm doing something, I kick the ball, or they can, they can even show mental action. The boy is thinking. We say there's still action, even though you can't necessarily see all the... Uh, nerve impulses flying along the neurons and hopping across the little synapses and things like that. Even though you can't see their brain working, we say there's action happening. It's mental action. So it can be both mental, mental or physical action. Um, he launched a rocket. What is the verb in here? Launched. Launched. And that's definitely action. You can see the, uh, the rocket shooting up. The subject, he launches it. He launched the rocket. Being verbs... Just state something. They state the existence of something. Um, the boy was sick. What's the verb in there? Was. Was is the verb. The boy is just plain laying in bed or wherever he is. The boy was sick. Is sick. Am sick. Am is are, was, were, be, been, being. Those are the being verbs. They just state that something exists. The copy is on the table. The students are at their desk. That's a being verb. And then beyond the being verbs, we have helping verbs. Helping verbs are more verbs that come along to help the main verb. Um, what is the complete verb in this next sentence? He is being helped by his mother. Is being. Is being. Helped. Helped. The whole thing is being helped. That's called a verb phrase. It's more than one word that are made up of a verb. And there are some little words in here called helping verbs. This one and this one are helping verbs. And this is, this is the main verb. So this is an action verb. This is a being verb. These are helping verbs, helping verbs, and then an action verb. Um, the other helping verbs, other than the being verbs, the being verbs, Amazar was were be been being, and then the rest of the helping verbs are have, has, had, do, does, did, may, might, must, can, could, shall, should, will, would. Um, and you can memorize those. It would be very good for you. And you would know all the, the, all the helping verbs. Okay, this, a little bit of capitalization now. Moving on from verbs, a bit on capitalization. Some words that should be capitalized are words like, if, if we have a sentence like this, let me put up two sentences. Dad... Uh, leads the prayer. Versus my dad leads the prayer. In this case, dad should be capitalized. Uh, here you say, oh, it's the first word of the sentence, so that's why it's capitalized anyway. No, that's not true. Uh, it would be capitalized even if it wouldn't be the sentence. I asked dad to lead. Here, let's change it. I asked dad to lead the prayer. I asked dad to lead the prayer. We would capitalize it. 
Because it's taking the place of his name. I asked Dad to lead the prayer. If your dad's name is John, I asked John to lead the prayer. That would make sense. Since it's, since it's talking about just your dad and you're using it in the place of your dad's name, it gets capitalized. Now, my dad leads the prayer. Here I'm talking about my dad, but I'm not using it in place of his name. I wouldn't say my John leads the prayer. That sounds a little strange. So therefore it's not capitalized. That's the general rule to decide whether to capitalize words like dad or aunt. Aunt Bertha. Let's give ourselves an Aunt Bertha. Aunt Bertha gave me candles for my birthday. Aunt Bertha. Uh, if you're talking about your Aunt Bertha, you would capitalize it. But if you would say, my aunt gave me candles for my birthday, aunt would not be capitalized. Because you wouldn't say, my Bertha gave me candles for my birthday. That sounds strange. But you can use it. If it's part of the name, then you go ahead and capitalize it. Um, capitalization rules for the president. The president needs to be capitalized if you're only talking to about one president, and that is the president of the United States. So the president gets his word president always capitalized. I asked the president to come. Okay, something important is going on. I asked the president to come. You would capitalize it only if this is talking about right now Joe Biden. If you're talking about the president of Amazon, if you're talking about the president of the school club, if you're talking about the president of your private fishing club, you don't capitalize it. It would just get a little pee. I asked the president to come. But if you capitalize it, you mean you're talking about that guy who is now leading the United States. And the same with his wife, she gets capitalized. I asked the first lady to come, Jill. That's her name. Yeah, I asked Jill. Jill Biden. Jill Biden it is. Dr. Jill Biden, in fact, she has a degree. She went to college. Um, so, Dr. Jill Biden. I asked the first lady to come. Then first and lady would both be capitalized. I asked the first lady to come. So the president and the first lady always get capitalized. Also capitalize other words such as church or store only if they are part of the name. A name such as uh, Bethel Church. If it's part of the name, then it gets capitalized. But if you say, I go to church on Sunday, you don't capitalize church. But only if it's in part of the name. Okay, there's a little bit of review for capitalization. Uh, I believe that is, that is it. Carry on with your work.